Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter, and today we're going to do another drone review. However, this was given to me to test by a neighbor of mine. His name is Dennis and his son Dylan. They haven't flown it, they just received it. This is comes with a nice carrying case, which is really sweet. It's called Potenzik. I'll have a link in the description below to purchase this if you're interested in this particular product. It is interesting. This is the drone itself. It weighs almost absolutely nothing. It doesn't come with the the blade guards on it at all. You have to put these on as tiny little screws. And there's another two for the legs. Each leg has its own. And then it also comes with additional black blades. So you get extra screws, you got a screwdriver, and you also have a memory card reader. This comes with a four gig memory card and it has a 720p camera. You'll see, I wanna show you some videos of that. It comes with four batteries and then this is the size. There are 7.4 volt batteries at 500 milliamps. The, the Force One battery charger will work great with this. It'll charge it really quick, which is nice. This is the controller for it and that's pretty much it. It's, it's really nice actually. There's, there's a nice display and everything tells you when your blades are ready to be moved. The, one of the other unique things about this is that it does have FPV. It has its own dedicated screen and it powers up on its own. It has its own battery pack. So this is the antenna, it goes like so. And this snaps right into place like so. And you can fly your drone from doing FPV. Uh, first person view, if you want to know what that stood for. And then you could fly you, looking at the camera through the drone and look in the screen. It does come with its own charges. It has a USB type and it goes to three connectors on here. Three, you can actually charge three batteries at the same time with one USB, but that would take substantial amount of time. And then you have the charger for the FPV. Let's take a look and see how this thing flies. All right, we're going to So guys, what do you think? Pretty good, right? Not bad for a $200 drone, especially with the FPV. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Thank you, Dennis and Dylan, for allowing me to review this cool, light little drone. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Creative Labs iRaw. Plug it in like like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the rate array. I mean, for, for the for the price difference between the two.